Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at your person and uh, their messages to you. So, I want you to take a moment, think about your person, um, take as long as you have to, and we'll go ahead and see what messages they have for you and what are they trying to communicate to you here. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. So they've definitely been thinking about you with your person, okay? Um, and here's the thing, I think you, you're giving your person and your situation with them a lot of mental energy as well. You both are. I feel like the universe is asking you currently to be very patient with your situation because Everything isn't what it seems. Um, no, there's, everything is not what it seems. You've got a lot of air energy. A lot of air energy here. Some of you could be dealing... I feel like some of the cards are very similar. Or you have the Two of Wands, which Water Energies also had the Two of Wands here. So some of you may be dealing with a Water Sign, okay? Um... Your situation right now is a little bit uncomfortable, right? There's been a pause or a stagnation in your situation, in your connection with this person. Uh, Seven of Swords, of course, is an energy of deception, okay? Betrayal, deception, deceit. Doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing, but maybe getting, getting away with it, okay? So maybe your person, um, you know, maybe your person has betrayed you has hurt you with their lies with their um you know with their behavior um they've hurt you they've disrespected you they've caused um a very painful disruption to the connection okay if that's the case best believe they're thinking about a lot of what they said what they've done and just how it hurt you or just how it hurt and hindered this relationship swords are a weapon they are a destructive energy so this is someone who i feel like is replaying a lot of the things that they said or they wish they could have said things that they've done or didn't do enough of okay um i also feel like a part of them is making excuses though a part of them is trying to maybe validate their feelings or, you know, it's like almost, it's like they're refusing to take personal accountability for something that they've said or for something that they've done. Because of the multiple um, swords that have come up here in the Seven of Swords, it's not like they've told one big lie that's resulted in your separation or your disconnection with them. It's that they've told several lies over, you know, um, uh, several different occasions in the relationship or in the connection here. So your person may be... Your person may be someone who is a compulsive liar. Your person may be someone, you know, who said or done things that they know they shouldn't have. Okay, but they went ahead with it. And I feel like that they're, they're, it's almost like they're driving themselves crazy just going back and reliving some of these things that they've said or they've done. But I don't see them taking action. I don't. I see them thinking about you a lot. I see them going to extreme lengths to keep tabs on you. Like, for example, even if you guys, they're definitely, you know, trying to check um, check up on all your social media pages. Like, if you've got Instagram, um, Facebook, TikTok, any of those handles, I feel like this person is definitely trying to, you know, um, stay up to date across all your different uh, social media pages uh, just to know what you're putting out there it's all it's also a way of them you know staying in touch because it feels like you guys aren't really communicating or there's not a lot of growth in the connection right now but at the same time they may be a little bit too proud to reach out to apologize or to even you know pick up communication again they may be using silence deliberately as you know strategically as a way to because they know you know it they know it upsets you or they know that you know it drives you crazy here it drives you to overthink and overanalyze so i feel like they, they know what they're doing is strategic but at the same time just because they're not communicating with you 
it doesn't mean that they've completely, you know, their feelings for you have dissolved or there isn't other things that they're doing to stay in contact with you. Because I do feel like this is someone who does reread the text messages you have sent to them. This person does... It's like they go back and look at all these photos that you guys created and you guys... Um, all these memories, all these photos that you've shared and created with one another. This is someone who is... Even if you've blocked this person on social media, I feel like it's almost like they're trying to get access to your page through someone else, like through a mutual friend or through a mutual connection that you have. They might even make, and I know this seems like they're going to extreme lengths, but they might even make up like a fake account to, uh, you know, to stay connected, to make sure that they have access to your page. Notice how the hangman here, the way the halo wraps around his head, this is a reference to the sun. I don't know. I feel like your person will have a light bulb moment. I do. I think that, you know, they need to do some... Whatever your situation is right now, it is a turbulent one, right? The energies seem to indicate that there is a period of disconnection or a period of separation. Something here has happened which I feel like has caused a disruption. Um, there's this element of deceit and deception. It could be that be, your person has been deceptive in the past, but of course the deception could also lie with you. For instance, they may have said or done things to hurt you on several occasions, but for each and every time you've made excuses for yourself, for them, okay? They're in deceiving your own self, right? You know, deluding yourself into thinking that this person, you know, isn't who they show you that they are. So the deception could very well be yours. You could you could have been telling yourself lives that this person is going to change or it's going to get better when they've never really there's never been any improvement or in any indication to support that. Um, but I do feel like your person here is just going back to this disconnection or this turbulency. Your person has been is giving the situation a lot of thought, right? They I don't think they've had their light bulb moment. I don't think they had this realization that, you know, will suddenly dawn on them, call it an epiphany, an awakening, a light bulb moment, call it whatever you want. I don't think they've reached that yet, right? I think they're still trying to make the connection. They're still trying to figure things out. And I think they need this time to really reflect because to me, it feels like they've been using um, certain distractions to keep themselves occupied and keep themselves, you know, far away from thinking and reflecting on what really went wrong here. There's a lot that they want to say to you, but it's probably best that they don't communicate in the energy that they're in now, because I feel like they need this space and they need this mental space to think about things. I also see that, you know, your person is... Your person definitely wants, they want to resolve some sort of conflict some sort of tension they want to you know they want to move away from something here that, that that has happened in the past which has caused this disconnection they want to move forward from this but their energies feel like they're stuck they don't know how to do it they keep thinking about you they keep thinking about i think you might have been the one to leave them because you've come up as a six of swords and it's not because you've turned your back on this person and you've given up on them or you stopped loving that them. It's not that. That's not what I'm picking up. It's that you grew tired, okay? The multiple swords, you grew tired of giving them second chances again and again and again when it probably would have amounted to like a hundredth second chance, right? You grew tired of constantly giving this person your time, your attention, making excuses for them, you know, constantly, um, just constantly always being there for them when this person wasn't able to do the same for you. So I think it's not that you grew tired. It, it is that you grew tired. It's not that you stopped loving them. It's just that they've hurt you time and time and time again. And you've tolerated so much of it, air signs, that it just got to a point where that's it. You couldn't give anymore. You know, you can't pour from an empty vessel. And that's what this feels like. Um, <clears throat> the message that I do get for you and it's from the cards it's not from your person is that you need to be patient with the results okay so whatever that means for you <clears throat> you need to be patient with the results your person is going to I feel like they are going to come back I see them coming back to you 
but I see them I see them needing to do some work they need to do some thinking reflecting they because you don't want them to come back and you don't want your connection to suffer the same fate do you right you don't want to go back to the lies to the deception to you know to being mistreated or being hurt or you don't want to go back to something that was unhealthy or toxic you don't want that otherwise why would you have separated why do you have walked away so I feel like it's important that the both of you kind of just work on you work on each other so when that you do come back because I do feel like the cards indicate you know you have to be patient here and your person I feel like your person wants to communicate that they're trying to work on themselves but they do feel stuck they feel stuck and I feel like that's one of the reasons why they're also not reaching out to you because it's like when they come back they want to show to you that they're a better version of themselves it's like they kind of want to prove you wrong they want to show you that they can do better and they can love you better and they can treat you better and they can become better but they can't come back if they've got no real tangible evidence or results to support what they say or what they've said to you right so i feel like they're really using this as an opportunity to work on themselves all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye